Hi guys, welcome back. Today we're gonna learn about fractions and in this video I'm gonna show you all the different types of questions you can get regarding fractions. This means we're gonna go through addition, subtraction, multiplication, division, as well as mixed fractions. I saw a lot of questions in the Hennessy map portion about fractions, so it's a really good way uh, where to start from and uh, you can get practice by looking at the examples because I'm going to be explaining the different methods. So let's start. So fractions. Fraction means how many equal parts of a whole. It's basically like a proportion. So we get it in this way, A over B. What does that mean? So A is going to be the top part and it's called the numerator, whereas the lower part, the B, is the denominator. I'll be referring and using these two terms frequently in the other um, ahead of the video, so you guys need to familiarize that the top part is the numerator and the lower part is the denominator. So the first thing we're going to look about is how to add and subtract fractions. But before that, I want to make a note that when you add or subtract and it has the same denominator, like the example I'm going to show right now, you can just go ahead and subtract it. Let's see an example. 5 over 2 minus 3 over 2. You can see that it's the same denominator, 2 and 2 is same. So you will just go ahead and subtract 5 minus 3, which is 2. And then and the denominator, you're not going to subtract it, you're just going to write the same number, 2. Okay, so only the numerator gets subtracted, the denominator is the same. Now there is a term in fractions used as simplification. Simplification is when the numerator and the denominator have something in common, you put it in its lowest terms. So and 2 and 2 are the same, so you can simplify it and say 2 over 2 is 1. Now what happens if you are adding and subtracting but the denominators are not the same? Can you see? We have 8 and 10, they're not the same. So the method that I use, and it's very easy and very fast, is called the smiling method. Why is this? Because it looks like a smile face. So what you have to do is that you have to multiply this with this, so the numerator of one fraction with the denominator of the other fraction. So it goes like this, Chris and then cross. So you can see the eyes. And then lastly, the, that's the numerator part. And the denominator will be eight multiplied by 10. So that's the smiling face, the smiling part. So let's uh, apply this example over here. So 7 multiplied by 10 is 70. Then you put the same sign, plus 9 multiplied by 8. Also, you will be having a calculator on the screen. So if you're having a hard time, just use a calculator. 9 multiplied by 8 is 72. So you put 72 here and then over the multiplication of the denominator. 8 multiplied by 10 is 80. Then you say 70 plus 72, 142 over 80. Then we can see that we can um, simplify this further. So we put simplification and we get 142 divided by 80 
simplified is 71 over 40. The same method, the smiling method, can be used for subtraction. Again, you multiply crisscross, so 6 multiplied by 2, 12, put the same sign, 3 multiplied by 3 is 9. The denominator will be multiplying both denominators. 3 multiplied by 2, 6. This will give us 12 minus 9 is 3 upon 6. We can simplify this because both have in common the number 3. So 1, 2, we get half. Half is the answer. Now we come to multiplication and division. Multiplication is very easy. It's very straightforward. It tells you to multiply the numerator, numerator with the numerator and multiply the denominator with the denominator. So you just go straight forward and multiply it. So 4 multiplied by 2, 8. 9 multiplied by 5 is 45. We cannot simplify this further, so this is going to be our answer. It's very easy. Division, on the other hand, is a little bit more, uh, you have to do a little bit more work, but it's not hard. And here I showed you um, two methods. The first method is to, in, it's called inverse and multiplication, and the other one is sandwich method. So in this first one, it's telling us to inverse the second fraction means inverse means we're going to bring the numerator up the sorry the denominator up the numerator down we're inversing the fraction and then we're going to change this sign of division to multiplication so this is how it's going to look like 3 upon 8 multiplied by 5 over 2 so I inverse the second fraction and I change this to multiplication. Now you already know how to multiply, you just go straight forward. 3 multiplied by 5 is 15, 8 multiplied by 2, 16. That's it. Now here in the sandwich method I use the same problem just to see how we would get the same answer. So we write 3 over 8 here, and then we make a big frac a big line that means it's getting divided by the other fraction 2 over 5. Now the ends of it is the bread, okay? And the inside part, this and this, is the filling. So it's gonna get multiplied. 3 with uh, the 3 with 5 is gonna get multiplied. 8 multiplied by 2 is also gonna get multiplied. So the bread part will go over, because in a sandwich you see the bread is up. So 3 multiplied by 5, 15, 8 multiplied by 2, 16. You can use any of these methods, you will get the same answer. Now we come to mixed fractions. Mixed fractions is um, involves two steps. It's telling you first to multiply and then add. Now you can get the problem, uh, well in the HESI I saw that the problem looks like this, but then it's the same mean meaning as this. So it can be this or this, it's the same. So what do you have to do? So you have 1 and 2 over 3. So it says first you're going to multiply, that means you're going to multiply this, 3 multiplied by 1 and then add it to the 2. So you're saying that 1 multiplied by 3 first and then add 2 for the numerator. So 3 multiplied by 1 is 3 plus 2, 5. That's the numerator. The denominator is 
this one right here, it's gonna be the same. So you put three, that's it. Let's see another problem similar, okay? You can write it again in this form or in this form. So you have 12, five, and six. Remember, first you're gonna multiply and then you're gonna add. So 12 multiplied by six first plus five is the numerator. So 12 multiplied by six is we're going to use a calculator if you wish. 12 multiplied by 6 is 72 plus 5, 77. So you're ready right here. 77. Denominator, remember, is the same. 6. This cannot be further simplified. So our answer is 77 over 6. Lastly, I wanted to incorporate all what we learned in one question because there were some questions like this so it's telling you a mixed fraction plus the mixed fraction so the first step here is to put it in simple fractions so then we can add those simple fractions so remember first multiply then add so you're gonna multiply 5 by 3 plus 1 that will be 16 over, same denominator, 3. We got one of our fractions. The other fraction, let's do it. 3 multiplied by 2 plus 1 is 7. Also, you put the addition, 7, which is our denominator, it's the same, 2. There we go. Now that we have it in simple form, we know how to add fractions by using the smiling method. Crisscross and multiply. So 16 multiplied by 2, 32 plus 21, because you're multiplying this, over 3 multiplied by 2, 6. This is 53 over 6. And that's our final answer. One last question to finish this video is a simple fraction multiplied by a mixed fraction. Again, we need this mixed fraction to be a simple fraction in order to multiply it. So 5 multiplied by the bigger one and then you add the 4 of the numerator. This gives me 9 as my numerator, denominator is the same, 5. Let me bring this down, 4 over 9. And how to multiply? Just straightforward. 4 multiplied by 9 is 36. 9 multiplied by 5 is 45. And these have in common the multiple of 3. So I simplify it and bring it to 4 over 5, and that's our final answer. Please guys don't forget to subscribe and like the video and comment for any other videos you want to learn about, and if you have any questions. Thank you!